Hi, I'm Will. Hi, Heather. And welcome to the Movie Files. Alright, so we just got out of seeing Concussion with Will Smith uh, and a whole ton of other famous people. Uh, Alec Baldwin is in it, uh, Albert Brooks is in it, um, David Morse is in it. Um, Concussion is the story of a forensic pathologist uh, who discovered the uh, severe health uh, effects of long-term professional football uh, of the the effects that that's had on the brain and how uh, multiple concussions have led many professional football players uh, to committing suicide and showing what appears to be signs of Alzheimer's way way too early uh, when they're way too young to be developing these signs so um, what did you think? I liked it. Well for me watching it um, it because it it's not just about you know you play something and you have well he compared it to being in the war uh, Will Smith did that uh, when you sign up to be in the army or whatever, you know that you could die. Well, when you sign up to be just playing a sport, you don't sign up thinking that you're going to die. So, that's that's how he compared it. Um, and then uh, when Alec Baldwin was talking about it, he talked about it in a way where I understood it from stepping back, like him seeing, him explaining what it's like to be that guy that looks at football, uh, it would be, I could understand it from the point of view of if I was to step back and look at Derby. So for him, he was, he was stepping back as like the, uh, the, the coach's doctor, doctor, uh, that fixes up the guys when they they ha get hurt or whatever on the field, uh, and then just sends them right out after you know giving them a shot or whatever, giving them, giving them some medicine to feel better for that minute. Uh, and him saying he saw the the beauty in the sport and talking to the other doctors saying that you know I guess you don't see this, and the other doctor of course doesn't see it because football is just a sport and you know if, if you're not in love with the sport or whatever you're not going to see it the same way yeah glad my kids didn't want to play <laughs> that well, wasn't really crazy about them doing it anyways and it does leave you with a really uh, this movie has a really powerful ending a very powerful ending that really really makes you want to think twice about the game of football because this is a this is a problem that the NFL has not solved yet. Um, they haven't even really admitted that it exists. Uh, even still, I mean, there's a movie out, a rather big movie, because I was not expecting the theater to be as packed as it was for this movie, for this movie. Uh, you'd think it was, you know, last week and we were watching Star Wars. In fact, when we saw Star Wars last week, it was empty. Yeah, there's like three people. But we go to the Will Smith football movie and it's packed. Um, so that that kind of took me uh, a little bit aback, you know, because I was like, wow, I can't believe this movie is that, that full. But the ending is really powerful. Um, obviously, it uh, the, the, the doctor that discovered this, uh, the Nigerian doctor that discovered this... Uh, this issue, this, this brain issue. Um, he was, he was living in Pittsburgh at the time. So it focused mainly on the Steelers mm -hmm. and it follows the, the deaths of 
five different Steelers through the course of the movie. Five different former football players die. And Alec Baldwin said there was 12 so far. Right, but I'm saying during the course of the movie. Mm Mm-hmm. Um, and then the movie jumps ahead a couple of years, and it ends with news reports on the suicide of Junior Seau, who was a San Diego Charger. And, you know, and it leaves you, like, that's the end of the movie. Like, it's talking about the, the suicide of Junior Seau as it's telling you what happened to the doctor and what was the outcome of, you know, the uh, stuff with the NFL and how the NFL was sued over this by former NFL players and they settled out of court under the stipulation that they would not have to admit what they knew and when they knew it. And that's just, that's just wrong. I mean, they're basically admitting, look, we know that this is destroying you and we don't care. And here's a bunch of money. Now just shut up and go away. Uh, And this left me, you know, really like, disappointed in the sport of professional football um and yeah it really does as a parent makes you think twice about you know letting your kids play football uh you know my kids love baseball and I want to keep them playing baseball because that's a much more boring and thus safer sport yeah and basketball there you go but uh (laughs) but I thought as a movie though the movie was phenomenal um I, I literally, I had zero problems with this movie as a movie. Uh, the actors all did a wonderful job. Um, I've never met anyone from Nigeria, but uh, to me, Will Smith's accent was flawless. Um, you know, maybe if you actually know someone from Nigeria, you might be like, that doesn't sound anything like somebody from Nigeria. But to me, it was flawless. Um you know, he played the character with a lot of heart and a lot of emotion. And uh, and you really get lost in the movie. When he's um, investigating these, these deaths, and uh, you know how it's going to come out because you know the plot of the movie before you go to it, you know? You know this is about football injuries, but as he's investigating, as he's figuring out that it's about football injuries, you're completely engrossed in what he's doing, and you're on the edge of your seat, and you're following along. And, you know, it's it's like watching, it really is like watching an episode of CSI, where, you know, you're following all the clues as they, they come out, you know, until they ultimately lead to, in the case of CSI, the killer, in the case of this movie, the medical problem, but it really kept you just engrossed into it. And then, uh, and then once it got beyond that, uh, once, you know, he discovered the problem, then it still kept you engrossed in what's going to happen next to this guy that, uh, that Will Smith plays. Um, and it's just, it's a really good movie. I have zero, fro- I have zero problem with this movie. Um, what would you rate it out of four? Um, probably like a three and a half, maybe a four. What, if you were going to say three and a half, what would bring it down that half a point for you? I don't like giving things a four. (laughs) (laughs) Well, I would definitely give this movie a four. Uh, This is definitely a four for me. Um, and, uh... And and uh, I honestly I think I think Will Smith uh, might win an Oscar out of this movie, which I told you before we went. I, uh, I honestly... also liked that they touched on the issue um, because he's from another country. You know, he's a foreigner. Uh, even though people, you know, and I'm going to sound like a freaking idiot saying this junk, but it's something that bothers me. When people come here from another country, they speak another language, just because you don't understand what they're saying, you think that they're dumb, like people, I don't know, it's just something that people do and it's wrong. Uh, And they, they touched on that too, because they pointed out that not only are you some guy that's coming out of nowhere being like, hey, this is going on, but you're some guy that's talking some mambo jumbo or whatever they called it. Uh, from you know Africa or whatever 
and they're saying it was like voodoo medicine or something that he was pulling out of his hat or whatever and it, you know of course it talked about you know not only are you they're not even going to see you as african-american but they're going to look at you like this and you know lots of stuff lots of emotion lots of lots of lots of lots of things so it was good so yeah check out my uh my full review on the blaze and uh and we'll see you next time uh, we're probably, uh, even though I won't be writing about it for the blaze, we will probably in the next day or two be going to see, uh, daddy's home. So we'll, we'll have at least a YouTube video for that up. All right. Uh, thanks a lot. We'll see you next Hi, time. Hi everyone. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, share, subscribe. Uh, be sure to check me out on Facebook and Twitter and don't forget to head on over to the blaze and check out my weekly column where I do re movie reviews and general Hollywood industry commentary. You can find the links for all those things in the description below. Have a nice day.